What is up, YouTube? It's Kingfisher745. And we're finally checking out Marvel Heroes. I'm sure that many of you have already checked out the update. I unfortunately could not. But at least I'm getting to it now, so I'm pretty excited about that. We got super lucky on the lucky draw, at least I think. And got 10 Eternity Splinters, which we'll gladly take. And of course, it's the biggest update ever. I mean, they've been telling us about it. It's finally here. Well, it's been out for a while now. But uh, definitely something I, I was looking forward to. And we will be reading from that list a little bit. Things like that. There's also some awesome things like Pre-Order Beast. Can't wait for him. And Silver Surfer and his Keeper costume. Now that will be something I'd love to get as well. But just to go ahead and look at these patch highlights here. We have Talents, Reworks, Movement, and the Removal of Power Points. So those are gone and every hero has had substantial power reworks. Instead you unlock your powers as you progress in level like before. And after you unlock your powers you unlock sets of Talents. Talents come in sets of 3. And all heroes have 5 sets. Each set of Talents will augment your powers, often dramatically. So read over them carefully but feel free to actively switch them out and try all the options. Additionally, while every hero has a very fast travel power, we've now introduced a charge system to our dash and dash-like powers. These powers were never meant to be used to traverse the environment, but to add to your rotation for damage, and more importantly, escape dangerous boss damage in the nick of time. The travel power each hero has is now the way you can rapidly traverse the world around you and unlock at level 10. The Infinity System. It's the replacement for the Omega System. Your Omega points and experience have been converted, and any subsequent experience earned will go towards your Infinity System points. There are far fewer nodes in this than the Omega System, and we hope that you'll find the new system more useful and much easier to understand. To access it, hit the P key or open up your Powers tree, then tab over the Infinity System tab. The Infinity System is unlocked after you get one hero to level 60, and then is available to all heroes after from level 1 on, so much better in that regard. Difficulty Slider and Difficulty Tuning. You can now play one of three difficulties. That's accessed through the Waypoint Map Window. Select your region and then your difficulty, and then warp to location. Be warned though, the new Cosmic Difficulty is only for the strongest heroes. Catalyst and Costume Core Conversion Catalysts are the new version of our previous costume cores. They go into a new slot next to your costume, and now have random affixes on them that can be very different depending on the rarity and type of catalyst. Affixes for costumes are crafted directly on the catalyst now, so look for new recipes on the crafter. All previously crafted costume cores have been converted to unslotted catalysts in your inventory. This will include all crafting affixes and costume visual effects applied to it. This patch included many, many more changes, so we can view the full list at MarvelHeroes.com. So I mean, just looking at a few things here, first of all, we have like a million different exclamation points popped up. But, um, you know, just kind of look over a few things. We're on Doctor Doom right now, and... Okay, we have the Doctor Doom Future Foundation costume here. Kind of interesting. Okay, we have a lot of bonus reward boxes as well. And just to look and see if we have anything newer that I don't recognize. Mystical Energies. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. There's definitely a lot to look at. We're going to have to figure this out as we go along. So let me just see something here. We're going to go ahead and get in on Ghost Rider, I think, was the last character we got to 60. We still haven't finished the Angela quest, so she's sitting there at 42. We have some more footage, though, for her. But I definitely don't know who to get on here. Let's see here. Let's try... Let's pop in on the Green Goblin. So basically, here are, you know, Madman, Bag of Tricks, Talents and Traits. So I mean, it's all stuff to look into for sure. So 
Strength Over Sanity, The Goblin Formula, Serrated Razor Bats, Engine Upgrade, Total Devastation, The Big Incendiary, A Bomb A Day, Booster Bombs, so yeah, I mean, this is going to be pretty extensive for everyone. In the Infinity System, we have Mind, Power, Reality, Soul, Space, and Time. So the gems, essentially. And I don't know which ones to look at for for uh, Green Goblin here, but uh, just looking at the Power Gem, which I would think would be my favorite. Okay, we have Strength, Increase the Signature Powers, Ultimate Cooldown, that's kind of sweet. Indomitable, and Stand United. So there's a Summoned Ally damage as well. Let's see, what would be like fighting, a boost of fighting? Okay, there's Energy over here. Soul, maybe? Alright. So, Soul has plus the fighting, which is good for a lot of characters. Another team up boost here. God Among Insects. Brutal Strike and Brutal Damage. So, yeah, I mean, this is going to be something interesting. We're going to have to. The Hero Synergy looks the same. We're going to have to look at each individual character and just try to figure this out, which, you know, it's going to take a little while for sure. So this is kind of just a rough look here. Let's see here, maybe I'll get on someone else and uh, we'll try to maybe build them at least. And then I'll just have to get more familiar with it myself before I can really do you know, too much. So, let's go ahead and put Herbie here. I have like a million of them. Look at this, Radioactive Isotope and Flourish. Hmm. Doctor Strange. Wow, we have a lot of gifts waiting for us. So yeah, this is going to be pretty interesting here. I'm going to need a lot of uh, space, let's put it that way. Here's one for Hulk. It's not too bad. Let's go ahead and take that. Can we just put it in there? Alright, here we go. So this is what we have right here. And it, you know, I'm sure it's alright. Um, there's probably better ones. I don't know. But uh, like I said, we're just trying to mess around here and figure a few things out. So. We still have, I guess, all of our normal stuff. And then we have to decide. You now, what do we want to do? So, if we click on like, what do we do? Just click like this. Okay, so we have to decide in each, in each additional thing here. So, basically, do we want anger now increases defense rating multiplier? Do we want regenerate 100% of your maximum health and anger when you're defeated? I don't know. Let's go with this for now. Hulk always angry. Okay. Deafening roar. The benefits of anger are increased by 50% while very angry. Provide no benefits otherwise. I have no idea. We'll go with that. 
Never use a cooldown power. Reduce the cooldown of other talents. Now spends all available anger, reducing his cooldown by 0.3. Hmm, I do like that move. Hmm. I have no idea. Out of my way, when you use Avalanche Leap or Cratering Stomp, Demolishing Charge gains a charge. When you use Demolishing Charge, reduce the cooldowns of Avalanche Leap and Cratering Stomp. Gamma Strikes bonus based on maximum. Probably going with that. Hulk Punch with Car. I do like that. And Hulk Smash now instantly causes you to get very angry. And is always treated as if used while already very angry. Hmm. All right, well, we're going to go with this for now. So there we have it. I guess we're going to try that out. Let's check out the Infinity System. We looked at power, of course. We're going to go Strength for now. Um, let's see what else we got. Kind of want to go with Brutal. Was that on Time? I can't remember. It was not. Okay, I don't know. This is just a quick thing. And let's go ahead and try to fight someone. I'm not sure what mission to do or anything. We can basically... Here, let's go here and we will try... We'll go ahead and fight Curse. So we're just messing around. I mean, like I said, there's a lot to read here. A lot to figure out. I'll try and go through some of the patch notes here while we fight. And, uh, you know, see what we can do. I totally forget how to play hardly. I mean, I, mean, I shouldn't say totally forget, but I definitely um, don't remember everything. Especially not about Hulk, who I haven't played in a long time. So anyways, let's read some notes. I'm going to actually post the patch notes for everyone to check out. I mean, there's even some big changes to chapters in the game. So it's really impressive. Okay, our inventory is full. That's right. Let's go ahead and open some of these boxes. Hmm. I see. Okay. Let's do this. Okay. So they're like completely hooking us up right now. Kiss of the Viper. Let's get rid of this. Hmm. I don't know. We're going to have to look at that stuff. Let's just use that for now. Um, there's all kinds of stuff here. One of the nine. Let's get rid of that. And great. I don't know. I'm gonna get rid of it for now. Okay, I don't know. Just hope that um, we don't miss out on anything great. Because I don't really know what's going on here. And what we need or what we should leave behind. We'll figure it out. And we have to make space somehow, so. That's definitely something we have to worry about. I, 
You know, you have to charge up the travel thing, and it's like kind of annoying. Hey, I'm just running. I mean, come on. Okay, it seems like we're more powerful. I don't know why. I don't know if they made us tougher, or we're oh, we're just fighting. We're probably fighting on a, a weak setting. I didn't remember about that. Well, it's good anyways. We're super rusty, so. Who knows? Cosmic Curse or whatever may, like, we might have died even, probably. So anyways, uh, get this... World Stone Cash. I don't know if these are great or not. I wish to get rid of one of them or. Hey, there's a Bloodstone Raptor. Asgardian Runestone. Bloodstone Lion. Bloodstone Jaguar, alright. Okay, so yeah. There's a lot going on, and we'll figure it out in the future. Like I said, we're going to have to play a lot. Read quite a bit about what's going on, and just go from there. But I did want to make a video. You know, I apologize for being late. I'm happy for anyone who watches this. I thank you very much for your time, and just for supporting me. So thank you. If you can, please like, subscribe, and comment. And until next time, good luck and take care.